Hello and welcome to another TechnoGoob video. We'll be doing something a little different today. This is a do-it-yourself project. We'll be making a clip holder or clip base for painting skewers. I've seen people using these in other videos, but I didn't know what to call them when I was searching, so I had trouble finding them. When I eventually found them online, I could see the price range from $10 to $15 each. Ouch. So, I decided to make my own. My first idea was to use a scrap of 2x4 that I had laying around. I figured I could drill lots of holes in it, and the wood would make a nice stable base. Unfortunately, it didn't work as well as I had hoped. I don't have a drill press, so the holes weren't aligned well, making it hard to use. The placement of the holes also required extra effort in planning where to put individual pieces, making it really tedious. I realized there was an easier option. Use cardboard like some of the bases I'd seen. Thanks to Amazon, I have lots of cardboard lying around, so this should be pretty easy. I like pressed cardstock for thinner walls for the outer shell of the base with a typical brown corrugated cardboard for the inner pieces. I wanted a mix of various sizes, smaller and larger options for flexibility depending on the project and the number of pieces in a specific group for painting. This is super easy construction. You need a knife, a steel ruler, some scissors, and some glue. Then you need to rage a recycle bin for cardboard. I like pressed cardstock for thinner walls for the outer shell of the base with a typical brown corrugated cardboard for the inner pieces. It's pretty repetitive, but basically we need to cut enough strips to fit inside our base. We will be cutting perpendicular to the corrugation so that the exposed edge will have the holes ready for use. Use the steel ruler as a size template. One to one and a half inches height seems to work well. Cut all your pieces for a rough size to fill the base fully. Do not pack the strips in too tight as you don't want to compress the corrugation. It needs to stay loose but be full. After you cut enough strips, trim the strips to the correct length. Consistency is more important than perfection here. They need to fit inside, but I don't worry about being exactly the right length. Once you have the pieces cut and trimmed, sort them so that you have the cleaner edge down on the table. This will be the top when we're done.
Apply glue to all the pieces. I'm using a cheap bottle of Elmer's white glue, which is great for this. Align the pieces and set them face down, pressing them gently together for the glue to set, but don't crush them. Then set the base box over the pieces in order to retain the pressure from side to side while the glue dries. After an hour or so, flip the entire base over and check your work. Congratulations, you've made a clip base out of recycled cardboard and maybe you've saved enough money to buy another model. If you have any questions about this project or suggestions for other videos, please leave a message here or contact me on Instagram or Patreon. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to like the video and subscribe to the channel.